Yeah, Dan, well, I'm standing in Hollister in the middle of 10 acres of hemp. And what growers and farmers like about Hollister and San Benito County in general is the weather they have here. They can pretty much grow hemp all year round, depending on the seed. Hollister in general, we think the way things have progressed over the last 10 years is really the organic capital of the world. The push for organic hemp is on in San Benito County following the 2018 Farm Bill, which makes hemp federally legal to cultivate. And farmers don't have to be affiliated with a research facility to grow, something that was previously required. Hemp is popular in part for its ability to produce CBD products. Whatever vehicle you use, whether you smoke it or you use it as a topical cream or a tincture underneath the tongue, it really works with your um, the body's DNA. You know, it works with the, the fatty acids, the amino acids. The body really works well with CBD. Before farmers can dive right into the hemp business, the United States Department of Agriculture released its framework for farmers. They kind of refine who can apply, uh, how, how to apply. Um, they place limitations such as not having a felony for a drug-related offense. There's also provisions such as making sure the hemp harvested test under 0.3% THC levels and destroying anything stronger. Violators could face criminal punishments. In San Benito County, leaders say they want to allow what's best for farmers. Farmers and, and property owners need all the options that they can have to uh, maintain a viable agricultural industry. Now, starting next year in San Benito County, they'll start issuing permits and allowing certain areas to grow hemp. This is part of a county ordinance that allows where hemp can be grown and the size of the parcel. Dan. Thank you very much, Alani. The state of California now has to implement a statewide plan that would be approved by the FDA, USDA, I should say, in order for a farmer to get a license.